So in this video, let's look at how we can test the listing of our videos in the video controller. The video slash list URL is you know calling the index function. Now this code is quite straightforward. It's a very typical query which you will write where what we are doing is taking the video so video and then query I typically write the query function here so that the, the rest of the queries or rather the functions can be called one after the other it, it feels a little more readable but you can absolutely skip everything not actually everything but you can skip this query part and you can have directly you know uh, published there now published is a scope custom scope which I have added to video model so let's go and see so scope published and what's the condition it says return the rows where is published is one that's how I have the logic that I want only the published videos and then I'm sorting them descending by created ad which means the latest one comes on top and I am paginating 10 records at a time and then the final response right Ideally, I should have done this anyways so this is our function so now the question is how do we test this so let's go to our test folder feature and I have video listing test three tests in here one that it shows list of videos so that's my very basic test which I will do then it shows first n videos and the n is because I am asserting right now that it's showing 10 tomorrow it can happen that I'm showing more than 10 maybe 20 so I'm not binding my test to the number and I can even if I want I can have this in the config but for now in the for the purpose of simplicity we are just following this basic con condition and then the last one is my business logic that it should only pub show published videos so let's look at the tests one by one video factory count create so this is where factory comes into picture if I go to my database folder go to factories and video factory you will see I have the definition user ID is coming from again I'm using factory inside here to get the ID I'm creating a random URL description is a paragraph type is YouTube is published as one so because of the factory I was able to get five videos okay now using this JSON method like we saw in our previous video if you haven't seen my previous video do check that out you will find the rather the link in the description below okay so yes so we can use the this JSON method where we pass the first parameter as the verb so in our uh, current case it's a get request to the route video dash dot list and if you see my api.php I have named it video dot list so moving along I get this response in this response I can assert certain things so for example by the way the again uh, the assert json is using the fluent api which is available to assert you know um, the structure of json so we are using the fluent api here you can see illuminate testing fluent is the namespace right so in here inside this closure the first thing which we test is how many results are we expecting so because we had a pagination of 10 and this is a count of 5 so i'm expecting that all the five videos should come and that's the case so total page count is 5 and the data has a value of 5 now how do I know what is the thing again if you want at any point of time inside your test what you should do is it is not content but rather get content and let's make an array out of it because what we will get is a JSON object I'll run so I'll, I'll tell you what my puf command stands for it stands for php unit filter equals so puf and then 
this which is very similar to let's just say vendor bin php unit then the filter function uh, filter attribute and like this so let me open it up a little more okay so current page is one that's the first key now we are not interested in it we have data okay go down these are the five videos which we are getting first page url a lot of things are there which is part of the pagination object and we have total this is why if i bring it down i expected that my total count is five and the data has five elements in it so that's why the first condition is where i'm expect uh, i'm making a where condition the total should be equal to five and the second is has which is like i am confirming that it has x amount or x count of elements in it okay and then the etc so this is my first test and obviously if i run this it should pass it does it is asserting five things in one test but that's fine then the next thing which we are doing is we are asserting that it shows a fixed number of videos that is our pagination now this is an important thing what i am doing here is kind of you can say i am testing the framework which is really not required if you ask me because the ui if it is built properly right if your if your front end is built in a way that it doesn't really care about the count then you don't need to test this but just for demonstration purpose i wrote this where first i created 12 instances of video in the database right then i made an api call a get request and then i asserted that the total count which the query got right is 12 in first case we got 5 because i created 5 right but in this case the total count was 12 but if you see my data has only 10 this is the difference in here i checked that the total and data both count were same however in the second one i am expecting that the total row count is 12 but the data should be only 10 because my pagination is configured to be 10 and again this is a good place where you should have that thing either in a configuration or you should give away the testing because as i told you we are right now testing the framework but yes additionally again to show you this syntax we can also do check the first element let's say of the data which we are getting so the data has 10 objects what i can do has is you know write this query where data dot zero which is the first element and then start this closure where i am testing that the is published attribute is one again you need to close the closure with an etc function and then this closure also ends with an etc so this is how we are confirming the number of elements which we are getting from our api request and the last one is where we are confirming that we are only getting published items okay now if we go to our factory you can see apart from definition i have unpublished function the unpublished function is a state in this we are able to create instances of the videos which are in unpublished mode why because i'm returning a state where is published is zero okay so when i am on this first line as you can see the difference between this line and this line is this function unpublished so i'm saying video factory give me two unpublished videos okay and then i have five published videos i make an ajax call and then i'm asserting that i got a total of five objects right the data has five elements and 
the first element is is published okay beyond this i don't think it is necessary for me to test anything else because i am confirming that the number is 5 and i know from the factory that it will create 5 published videos and the two unpublished videos are not coming in the count because it's not asserting seven total count but rather five so we have kind of successfully tested this controllers all the um, combinations the only thing which i haven't tested is that the order by descending is working again this is something which is like testing the framework if you feel that this is part of your business logic or let's just say you have a column in your video table which is is sticky then it becomes much more important for you to test that the first element right for example if I, if i had a sticky uh, attribute to it so you should write your query such that the first element should always be the sticky and then the next two elements are basically sorted let's say by their created at date so you should try to simulate that okay otherwise i think this order by descending is something which we can be happy with because our application is not really dependent on it right now okay so yeah i think that's about uh, a typical approach to testing your uh, listing apis okay especially when they have any business logic like i'm sh only showing published videos and something like that so thanks for watching guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel